Richard. Richard's one of our best workers. Aren't you, Richard? So, how many did you do in the last hour? Uh, about 80, Mr. DeFranco. You goofing off again? Come on, come on, come on, take a jab at me, Richard. Come on, come on, take a jab. Oh, no, you're not going to get me to no fight, Mr. DeFranco. Go. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, Richard. Nice meeting you, Richard. I like your tie. You like this tie? Yes, I do. Better than the other one? Yes. Well, why? I don't know. I just like it. It's got lots of colors. The other one was sort of ugly. Really? Before I got this tie, you said you liked the other one and hated the one before that. I did? I'll tell you what. From now on, you can pick out all my ties. Well, I don't know if I could do that, Mr. DeFranco. Want me to show them what I'm doing? Hey, how'd you get so far ahead of me? I'm smart. Janet, I want you to meet Father Ames, Father O'Reilly. Hello. Hello, Janet. How come you always show people me working? Because you're the prettiest girl in the whole workshop. No, really. Because you're smart, just like you said, Jen. In case you haven't noticed, uh, Janet's a talker. Well, we'll see you later, Janet. Keep up the good work. I will, Mr. DeFranco. Nice meeting you, Janet. Okay, bye. Bye. You know, Leonard, that girl doesn't look that uh, retarded. You're allowed to say it. What Father O'Reilly is trying to say is, well, she doesn't look like she belongs here. But she won't be after today. Oh? You found a better situation for her? Not exactly. Janet's unit's being laid off. Doesn't seem to be a lot of money to go around these days. Lucy, you're going to be in big trouble when Ricky gets home. You better behave. This is the last. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, 700 pounds a minute is a lot. Ethel, get out of there. Lucy's acting stupid again. <laughs> Lucy, leave Ethel alone. Oh, no. Lucy, Ethel's locked in the closet. How was work? Fine. Lucy's acting stupid today. I don't know why she's so stupid. If you don't straighten out, Lucy, I'm not gonna watch you anymore. Stop talking to the television. Lucy can't hear you. I don't care. Lucy, you're so stupid. Where's mom, sweetheart? I don't know. She's in the kitchen making your dinner. Oh, boy, Ethel, you better get out of there real quick. Lucy, Ethel's locked in the closet. There's got to be a job. Why don't you put her on in, in another department? Oh, please, there's got to be something. Okay. I understand. Too well. Bye. Janet and Lucy aren't doing too well today, huh? So I hear. What's the problem? Janet's been laid off. You've got to be kidding me. This is one of the best employees. There's no more government financing for her department. David, she's going to be so disappointed. She doesn't know. Lucy. Fine. Janet. Janet, turn the water off. I'm not done.
Jim. How would you and Mom like to take a little vacation? Maybe go to Catalina. Really? Mm -hmm. When? Anytime you like. Tomorrow, next day, anytime. I can't. I have to work. I thought you were building a library. Come on. You go to Catalina with Mom tomorrow, and then I'll join you over the weekend. I can't take the time off. Christmas, I can go Christmas. Wait, honey. Uh, Janet, Mr. DeFranco called and said they have no money to pay you for your job, so you're going to have to stay home until they get some more. I don't want to stay home. I want to go to work. I, I know you do, sweetheart. I don't care. I'm going to go anyway. Daddy, you better take me to work tomorrow. It's going to work out. A new project? No. Janet. You've been selfish. That's got to stop immediately. Selfish? David, what the hell are you talking about? Janet hasn't been off my mind one moment in 21 years. All I've done is worry about her. That's right. And where has all the worrying gotten her? Pretty far, considering. Considering what? That she's retarded? You don't even know how retarded she is. You still cut her fingernails. You're afraid she'll kill herself with a sharp object. I drive her to school. They've been bus training retarded kids for how many years? Well, we don't have to worry about that anymore since she's been laid off. Janet, what are you doing with your coat on? I have to go to work. Daddy, you better hurry up. I'm going to be late. Well, sweetheart, you didn't listen. Oh, no. No, all right. It, it's going to be your fault if Mr. DeFranco gets mad at That's me. That's right. It's my fault. Come on, Daddy. Let's go. Janet. Daddy, stand up. Janet, take your coat off. I I'm have to go to work. To work. No. I have to get dressed. Go... Mommy, get dressed. Take... I have to Take your coat off. There is no job. I don't care. I want to go anyway. I know you do. That's not my fault, Daddy. Come on. Please, come on. Let me go to work. I can't. No! Jim, listen to me. I'm not taking you to work. Are you to stop it, Jim. Listen to me. Oh, help me out. Is that the way you explain things? Janet, dear, now, well, I know you're disappointed, but we'll find you another job. No, you won't. Yes, we will. I... No, you won't. I want to go to work. Now, where's she going? Come on, Janet, get in the house. No, I want to go to work. Janet, there is no job. Do you understand? No job. Come on. Come back in the house. You want to stay out here and freeze in the rain? Go on, freeze. You come in the house! No! No, I want to go! I want to go! No! Janet, 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 Janet.
Bruce, what do you want to do today? I don't know. We'll find something good, OK? Hey, John, I'll talk with Mommy for a little while. Janet, stay with you for a couple of hours. Why? We're looking for a possible situation for her. What does that mean? Place to live. I can't believe you're still trying to put her in an institution. It's not an institution. It's private. It better be for 10000 a year. Oh, well, excuse me. Country club. Bruce, what the hell do you want? What do I want? I don't want her to go to an institution. That's what I want. You've got nothing to do with it. It's not your decision. Why? She's my sister. If Mommy likes the place, Janet will stay there for the weekend. And there are no guarantees. If they feel they can do something for Janet, they'll keep her. Keep her? Well, what if she doesn't want to be kept? Dad, all I'm saying is let me see the place first. That's all. I won't make a scene, I promise. I just want to feel like you made the right decision, that's all. Okay. All right, let's eat. What do you want, dear? I don't know. Have a hamburger. OK. Have whatever you want. Come on, take some food. I don't know what to have. Whatever you want. We'll be here all day. Here, take a salad. You want a hot dog? I like roast beef. They don't have roast beef. Here, have a hamburger. Come on. It's like an old home week in here. Where's your lunch? Uh, I'm not hungry. Uh, Janet. Here, take your medication. No, I don't want to. It'll help you relax. Here's my water. Here, take your pill. What is that? I forgot a fork. It's Thorazine. Thorazine? Yes, the doctor said it would calm her down. And you let her take it? I can't believe you. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Could I ask you a question? What? I was thinking, are you retarded? None of your business. You're retarded, not me. Would you like to come with us? Yes. This is our recreation room, lounge, whatever.
ugly here. I don't like it. It sure is. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm taking my daughter and I'm getting out of here. Come on. That's a stupid bed. Thanks for the tour. Mrs. Oden, what I'd like to do is uh, naturally discuss the situation with my wife. And then, if it's all right with you, I'd like to return in a week or so with Janet and leave her with you on a trial basis. for a ride, do some shopping, a little fun. Can't. The Lakers are playing. Oh, you can miss one game. I can't. Well, they're playing a lousy team. It's not even going to be close. Where'd you say you wanted to go? For a ride. Come on, go get your purse. OK. Where are you going? Oh, uh, can I borrow your car? I want to take Janet out for the day. Oh, good idea. Here, take Janet for a nice lunch. I'll take care of it. They opened the new giraffe house at the zoo. So? Well, Janet hasn't seen it yet. Good. girl, Bruce. Think so? Yes, I do. She reminds me of this girl in General Hospital. You like General Hospital? It's okay. Except the people are always getting sick and they're always having problems. If you love somebody, you should love them, you know? You shouldn't have problems. I don't look like anybody on TV. Bruce, do you think I'm pretty? Of course you are. Would I have a sister that's not pretty? I'm not pretty like that girl, though. You're prettier, because you're nicer. Now, don't you want to know where we're going? Yes. Santa Monica. Ever been there before? I don't think so. I'm taking you to meet some people. Who? Well, they're, they're people like you. Only they don't live at home anymore. They don't? No, they live in a really nice house. I thought you might like to meet them and see how they live. They're not real retarded, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Am I real retarded? Oh. Okay, stand over here. No, dummy, on the other side. Okay. Okay, let, let's go. I don't like it when you steal it. Shh, don't talk in here.
you get batteries for your calculator, Andrew? I just got it. When I need batteries, I'll get batteries, OK? Come here, look at this. Oh, look at all this, this stuff, wow. Oh, I'm not going in there, Andrew. I know, I, I know. I'm gonna have a store just like that. Can I wait in the car? Come on, I want you to meet some people. If you don't like it here, we'll leave, okay? We will? We will. You promise? Come on, I promise. Bruce? Hi, Mr. Austin. How are you again? Um, this must be Janet. Say hello, Janet. Hello. Hello, Janet. How are you? Nice to see you. I'm Les. We have to be back home for dinner. Don't worry about it. Oh, don't pay any attention to Max. Come on, give me a hand. That's it. Won't hurt you. Good, Max. This is a nice dog. This is a nice house. Would you like to see the rest of it? I don't know. Come on, let me show you. Come on. Come on. Hi, Bruce. This is me again. Honey. Yeah. This is Janet. Janet. My wife, Pat. Hi, Janet. Hello. Nice to meet you. I got you beat tonight. Just come here. Yeah. Where have you guys been? Oh, we were out uh, walking around looking in the stores. Yeah, you should see the calculator Andrew's got. Let's see it, Andrew. Oh, he, he just made that one up, Pat. Come on. I didn't do nothing, Pat. Give it to me, Andrew. Ah, Andrew, what's going on? I thought you stopped this a long time ago. I don't like you. I don't like you doing this in front of people, Pat. I hate you, Billy. Now, you march in the kitchen. You put your name in the doghouse. It's not coming down until Monday morning when you take this back. I... No, no, don't swear. I have to go to work on, on Monday. The kids in the nursery school need me. Yeah, well, that's too bad, isn't it? I just hope the store doesn't call the police. Kareem now with 18 points. He's two for two from the free throw line. Make that three for three. A 62% free thrower. 87-76. Pressure in a backcourt applied by Los Angeles. That's Henderson trying to get it into the front court and does to Dandridge. Double teamed. That's Johnson to Ballard. All along. He hits it. And there, as Keith pointed out earlier, is the problem when you double team. Somebody is open. 87-78, Lakers lead, 5.50 left of the ball game. That's Dantley, guarded by Ballard, batted away by Ballard. Over to Nixon. Underneath to Wilt, and off of Jamal, out of bounds, Washington. Hey. Hey, I met you, you in the cafeteria, remember? My name is Andrew. Hey, don't you remember me? No. So, who's playing? The Knicks and the Lakers. I live here, you know. So, so are you going to be living here, too? No. That's too bad. Do you always wear those glasses? Yes. It's too bad. They're ugly. They, they make you look funny. You look funny. Mom, what do I want? No, we're not going to be home for dinner. And if things work out here, I want to leave. 
Well, you come down and get her then, because I'm not bringing her home, okay? Yeah, I'll be waiting for you. I'd be delighted if you take Janet. Okay, that's one of you. What about you, Mrs. Michaels? Is there something you don't like? Oh, uh, no, no. I didn't say I didn't like anything. Oh, the facility seemed quite nice. And I... you both seem like very nice people. Thank you. Maybe we could speak privately for just a moment. Come on, I'll get you a cup of coffee. I'm going to be real blunt with you, Mrs. Michaels. You have a lousy attitude. You didn't give birth to a retarded child. No, I didn't. Thank God. But what are you going to do? Punish yourself for the rest of your life by holding on to Janet? I'm holding on to her because I love her. Yes, of course. I know. Of course you do. But the fact is, she's being deprived of an independent life. I know. Nice room. Janet has terrible habits. She watches television all day. <laughs> oh, she won't hear. No, no. Everybody here holds a part-time or a full-time job. Some hold two. Andrew, for instance. She won't eat your food. <laughs> oh, you let me worry about that. All right. Want a cup of coffee? Yeah. Great. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Where are you staying? With Mom and Dad. Where are they staying? At a motel. Why can't I stay there? Because you're tired, and it's too far away. Mm. Are we going home tomorrow? <laughs> okay, Sleep, you go to sleep. I don't want to stay here. So fast. David, we're going so fast. 21 years isn't fast. I know I'm being silly. <laughs> Suddenly I'm worse at making decisions than Janet is. Dad, you better go to the motel without me. Why? What's the matter? Nothing. I'm just going to stay till she feels comfortable. Dad, do me a favor. Take Mom back, okay? Come on, you. I'm going to show you how to play checkers. Chance, I think you'll start to like it here. No, I'll go home. You know, Mom and Dad aren't going to live forever. What are you going to do if they die, huh? I don't know. I'll come live with you. Uh, Janet, that's not the answer. I moved away from home. It wasn't easy, but I did it. You know something? What? It's the best thing I ever did. And now I'm very happy. You are? Yeah. And you will be, too. Now, I'm leaving in the morning. No! No, no, no! And no, I'll no, call you every no. day. You promised I could... Janet, you I promise, promise a lot me. of things. I want to go home. I want to see mommy and daddy. Mommy. 
Mommy and Daddy aren't out there. There's no one. I want to go. Wait till morning. No, I want to go now. You want to go? Go ahead, go. I promised I go home, Bruce. Janet, take your medication. Why did you lie to me? Janet, take your medication. You promised I could go. Take your medication. I don't want. I said take it. Smells good, Billy. <laughs> See you after church. I pray for you, Pat. Thanks. Pray for me too, Sylvia. Okay, Billy. Pat, when are you? Are you going to take my name out of the doghouse? I told you that last night, as soon as you returned that calculator, and you remember that just as well as I do. I'm not talking to you, Billy. It's not Billy's fault. What you did wasn't right. To take somebody else's property that doesn't belong to you, that's not right. I know. Hey, would you break these eggs for me, please? Sure. I don't want the, that new girl to see it, you know. Yeah. I mean, I don't mean to, to take things, Mrs. Hollister. Sometimes I, I just do it, that's all. I'm not taking your name out of the doghouse, Andrew. Offer! Yep, up, up, up. Here you go, big shot. Go away. Brunch. I know. You look different. What did you do with your glasses? I'm not wearing them. Can I see? No. I'm not going to do anything. I just want to Leave me alone. Okay. I'm leaving. You better get down to brunch. You're nobody special, you know. I'm not coming. I hate it here. Do you hate me? Yes. Well, how, how come you hate me? I don't know. I don't hate you. So? Can you see without your glasses? Not really. That's too bad. You look better without them. They make a dent on the top of your nose. Oh, boy. 
butter. I make the soup, you know. 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 Don't. Hey, where's Janet? She didn't want to come down again. I could take some food up to her, though. That's a good idea, yeah. Andrew got a girlfriend. I'm not talking to you, Billy. <laughs> you keep it up, and I'm not taking you bowling, Mr. Billy, don't start in, please. I didn't mean nothing. Join hands. Give me your hand, Billy. Join hands. God is kind, God is good, and we thank him for our food. Amen. 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 Mark, cut it out. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up some. Okay. Food. Oh, <laughs> cut it out, Mark. <laughs> Could I come in? No. I'm in here, ma'am. I left some food in your room. You're supposed to eat, you know. I made the soup myself. Are you a good cook? I'm a very good cook. What do you make? I make spaghetti and meatballs, and I, ma I make lasagna. I like Italian food. My, my mother makes it. She lives in New York City. I was in New York City. You were? Were you in Queens? That's where my mother lives. No, but I was in the Empire State Building. No kidding. I know that place. Do you know that you, that you could see Queens from the Empire State Building? I was there. Did you go there? Yes. No kidding. Did you go to the Statue of Liberty? Yes. We went to the top there, too. My daddy had to carry me down. It was so steep. Do you want to go to work with me tomorrow? I'm going home. Okay, can't you wait until the weekend? Not really. Where do you work? I work part-time at the cafeteria and part-time at the nursery school. Which one do you go to tomorrow? So. What are they doing today? Making a scarecrow. Oh, yeah? Uh, doesn't, doesn't look like a scarecrow to me. <laughs> That's because we were waiting for a tall man to put the head on. Who? What do you mean, who? You! <laughs> okay, I can do that. Look out, kids. I want to put the head on now. Oh. Okay? Oh, we forgot the mouth. Oh, yeah. Would you like to draw the mouth? Oh, yeah, come on. Jana, you draw the mouth on it. Okay. No, no, that's, that's no good. It's not it's supposed to be smiling. That's not going to scare anybody. Right, Mrs. Walker? I forgot. doesn't look right. I know. I know. I know. No, no, don't. don't take your scarf off. You'll catch a cold. No, I won't. No. Can I make it a girl? Sure, oh. you can't make it a girl. It's supposed to be a scarecrow, right, Mrs. Walker? I don't know about that, Andrew. I think it's about time we had a scarecrow woman around here. Don't you agree? No. Smart. She needs some hair, though. I could pretend it's under the hat, though, tucked in like a bun. I know.
You said you wanted it to be a girl, right? <laughs> Come on, kids, make more paper balls. <laughs> Andrew. Now it really looks like a girl, doesn't it, Mrs. Walker? <laughs> oh, I could be here all day. <laughs> Are you mad at me because I made the scarecrow a woman? No. But I st still think it should have been a man. Next time we can make it a man. Well, I don't think we'll be making any more scarecrows this year. Hey, be careful, be careful. The bus isn't going to be here for another couple of minutes. The uh, bus company, company is very undependable. You always go to work by yourself? Uh, uh, well, Mr. and Mrs. Hollister used to follow me in their car. Uh, and, but now I take the bus all by myself. Ex except, of course, you're with me. <laughs> hey, maybe Miss, Mrs. Walker will hire you, too. You forgot I'm going home. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe if you uh, stay, she'll hire you. Are you sure we're at the right bus stop? Don't worry, I know, I know right where we. Okay, here comes a bus. Uh, now, does it say number five? I. Uh, yes, it does. Okay, this is our bus. Do you do you have money? No, I don't have any. Okay, money. it's okay. I have I have money, but let's go. Again, I wish you would stop laughing. <laughs> Come on, let's, let's get off on the bus. You can move to the bank. No, it's, it's too crowded. <laughs> They're making me disturbed. You know what I tell them? Shut up. Uh-huh, I know what you mean. I don't like the way they look at you. I hate being, being retarded. Were you in special classes? What? Were you in special classes? No, nah, I, I never didn't live at home. You didn't? No, I've been all around. Hey. Hey, look at all of, Hey, let's go in here. You want to? Well, well yeah, sure. Look at all these, these glasses. They'd be great on you. Think so? Can I help? You? I'd like to get some gl some glasses for my friend Janet. Those are ugly, the ones she's got on. All right. Do you know what kind you want? Oh yeah, one of the one of the ones in the window. Try these on. How do they look? I think they look better in the window. What else you got? This should do it. Oh, yeah, these are nice. What do you, what do you think? I can't see without the glass. 
I don't know now. I think they might be, be too big. What else you got? Andrew was late again. I hope he's not in the shops. Oh, don't even suggest it. Did Janet come out of her room today? What do you mean? You took her to work this morning. Did... No, she didn't want to go. Oh, I can't believe this. I made her bed this morning. That means she's been gone all day. All right, don't get excited. Maybe she's with Andrew. Maybe she isn't. All right, I'll tell you what. You call Alice Walker, see if she's over there, then we'll run down to the bus stop. If they're not on the next bus, then we'll call the police. I like these. Yeah. Yeah, I like those too. How much do those cost? The frames will be $34 plus tax. Then you have to buy the lenses. My paycheck is for, is for $38. Could I buy the frames now and then I could buy the lenses later? Will you take my paycheck? If you endorse it. Where? Right there. So much, so much talking, I don't know where we are. You know what street it is? Alameda. Oh, no, we're, we're supposed to be on Euclid Avenue. I, I can't believe we got lost. Well, we could ask somebody. Well, do you see anybody? A quad. I can't believe I, I got us into this. If we were downtown, we could ask somebody. Because there's always somebody to ask downtown. You know what? We better, we better call Mr. and Mrs. Hollister. Let's find a phone. Call. Maybe she got raped. Oh, hush, Sylvia, she did not. She's not at home. I checked the whole house. Mark, what are you doing downstairs? You're sick. That's all I need is all you guys getting the flu. Andrew probably got caught stealing. No, he didn't. He doesn't steal. Yes, he does. I found some stuff he took. Mark. No, he doesn't. I know it. Uh-oh. I bet it's the police. Hello. Andrew, where are you? No, no, no. You stay right there. I'll be right down to pick you up. OK, bye-bye. Everything's fine. I'll be right back. I'm sorry, oh, we got we lost. Oh, we were worried to death about you guys. I'm sorry. Pat, Pat, look at the new glasses that Andrew got. Oh, they're not. Yeah. Where are the lenses? We, we go back and get the lenses next week. Where'd you get them? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Do you remember, Janet? Yes. It was at a glasses store. Yeah. Where, Andrew? I, I don't remember. I, I could find my way back there, though. Do you have a receipt? A what? 
a sales slip, something that shows that you paid for them. No, I... Uh, no, do you have a, a receipt? Uh -uh. Janet, would you wait in the car for a second, please? Let me have the glasses. No, they're mine. Andrew uh -huh. got them for me. No, they're mine. Pat, I told you that, that I paid for them. I don't believe you, Andrew. Pat! I don't believe you. Why not? Nobody buys glasses without the lenses or having a sales receipt or something. I, t I told you that we are going to go pick up the lenses next week. Pat, you, you are not, Pat, you are not acting normal today. What do you today. expect me to think? Hi, Janet. Hi. Andrew's depressed. I'm sorry I got you in trouble. Here. You didn't get me in any trouble. You keep him. He can't go to the movies, he can't go bowling, he can't do nothing for two weeks. He can't even... Shut up, Billy! I don't have to. Okay, then don't shut up. Come on, Janet. I like the colors you chose for the rug. When I'm angry, I play pool. When I'm angry, it depends. Sometimes I throw a tantrum, like when people get in my way. Most of the time, I just have to be by myself. You want to try one? I don't know how. I'll show you. Okay, come over here. Now, you hit this one. Hold it. Mm -hmm. Hold it in the, in the back. Okay, now, you, you want to you wanna hit it in there. Ready? Go. I missed it. It's okay. You know, we gotta find that that glasses store. Do you have to go back with your parents tomorrow? Yes, I have to. But you could come and visit me. I wish you didn't have to go back. We really gotta find that store. You wanna look tomorrow? Oh, no, don't tell me that. Are you sure? Yeah. How did he get past me? I don't know, but Janet's parents are going to be here any minute with their clothes. What are you going to tell them? The truth. Is Andrew in more trouble? Oh, is he ever. Yeah, so is this one. I don't remember a river. No. Uh, we we got to find it. I know. Why don't we go back to your school and then come back like we did the first time? That's not a, a bad idea. That's a good idea. Okay. Let's try that. Okay. It just makes me so nervous. Don't worry. We're going to find it. In other words, you're implying he's a kleptomaniac. Well, I think that's a little harsh. Oh, I'm sorry. It's hard to be sympathetic with your daughter roaming the streets. Well, from what you've told us, at least he has the good sense to call when he gets lost. Can't you keep Janet away from the boy? Oh, you know, Les, maybe we should send Janet home. I don't want her getting dependent on Andrew if he's going to start this stuff again, and frankly, they're getting pretty attached. If it's at all possible, I want her to stay. If you think she'd do better at home. Uh oh, look who's here. Oh. Hey. Where have you been? Where have you been? Oh, I'm so... Oh. Last, look at that. 
<laughs> Mommy, Daddy, is it okay if I stay here for another week or two? Uh, well, Janet, I have to discuss it with your father. Daddy? Whatever your mother says. Mommy? What's the matter, Mommy? Can't you make up your mind? It's okay for both of us. Hi. I'm Andrew Madison. Hello. Hello. What do you think? It's empty. Well, it, it's empty right now. It's not always empty. Oh. I hope it's open. Sometimes they lock the building. You never can tell. Can you climb a ladder? Yes, I think so. Good. It's over here in, in this building. It is? Yeah. This is it. You could break your neck here. No, it's okay. It's very high up here. Yeah. This is where I sit. Well. What do you think? I love it. It's almost the best place I've ever been to, next to the Empire State Building. Do you ever, ever want to go back to New York City again? Because I don't. I don't either. No, I want to live here. Me too. Yeah. But I got to figure out a way to make a lot of money. Because right now, I, I get paid lousy. <laughs> You know, Les says he's going to get me a better job. I'll be, be putting headsets together for airlines. You know, when you uh, listen to music? Uh-huh. They hurt my ears. Well, that's because they don't make them right. Sweating, Andrew. I like it here. Janet. I can't, Andrew. It's too steep. No, it isn't. I got down. Come on. I need help. If I don't need help, you don't need help. Janet. You're making me cry, Andrew. Well, you're making me mad, Janet. Andrew, you're making me cry. 
making me a crybaby. I'm afraid now. Help me. No, I won't. If, if you don't come down, I'm leaving you here. I can't do it. You're acting like a stupid retard. Andrew, don't go away. Please, Andrew, I don't know what to do. Andrew, come okay, back, please. Okay, okay. Stop crying. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you cry. Stop crying. Now, come on down. I, I won't let you fall. Don't be mad at me, Andrew. I was scared. I thought you could do it by yourself. Thank you, Andrew. I'll try next time. Janet, everybody is waiting for you in the car. I know, Andrew. I'll be right there. Are you sure you're okay? You've been in, in your room for over two hours. You're beautiful. I did it for you, Andrew. I didn't want you to be ashamed of me. Oh, I, well, I would never be ashamed of you, Janet. But you're the most beautiful girl that I ever saw. We better go. I'll bet you're going to be the most beautiful girl in the whole bowling alleys. I love you, Janet. I want to marry you. Okay. When? to be here. You're supposed to be in your own bed. Do you love me? Yes, but you're supposed to be in your own bed. Those are the rules. When you, when you love somebody and you're going to get married, you're, you're supposed to make love. You can't make love and be in your own bed unless the other person is there, too. I know. That was good. My arm. <clears throat> Too heavy. Get off. Oh, my God. 
Andrew. You're a terrible person, Andrew. I hate you. I don't want to marry you. I never want to see you again. Get out of here. You know, you're really an idiot. You know that? You don't, you don't even know what it's about. Yes, I do. No, you don't. I'm not talking to you, Andrew. I hate you. You creep on people. Didn't you ever make love before? Not like that. Well, how did you do it? Never mind. Go away. Didn't anybody ever, ever teach you anything about sex? No. Oh, well, we don't have to do it anymore if you don't want to. Even if we do, it won't hurt, but we don't have to. I love you, Janet. I just, I just want to be with you. I love you, too, Andrew. I could teach you about, about making love if you want. I have to think about it. I thought you loved me. I do, when you don't creep on me. This was your bed, Andrew. I couldn't see. I was coming to see you, not you, Billy. You better keep your mouth shut tomorrow, okay? Let's go into your room. Okay. I promise you won't creep on me too hard. We just want to talk to you for a minute. Sure. OK. Do you want to come in and sit down? We'll stand. Sounds serious. We want to get married. Right away. Well, I think I'll sit down. Yeah, well, uh, why don't you come on in and uh, sit down, and we'll discuss it. Well, we can discuss it if you want to, but we're still going to get married. Now, what's this? What's this big surprise? I want to. I want to marry your sister, Bruce. Why? I want to marry Janet.
Why? Because we love each other. We have it all figured out, Bruce. Yeah, I've got a job, and so does Janet. Together, we make $87 a week. Where could you live on that? Well, there was this girl who used to live at the hostel, and now she has her own apartment. The state pays for it. We don't need the state to pay. I'm going to be working for the airlines pretty soon, and I'm going to be making over 100 bucks a week myself. What about children? Oh, You're going to have some of those, right? No, we don't want to have any children right now. No, my doctor says there's an, an operation that I could have so that we wouldn't have to have any right away. You know what I think? No, what? I think you're crazy to get married. You should stay good friends. That's enough. No, we want to get married, Bruce. I thought you would want us to get married. Married? Janet, this is the first guy you ever met. You never even lived away from home before. What's your hurry? Well, I don't care if you don't want us to, Bruce. We're going to get married anyway. Then go ahead. Louse up the rest of your life. You can't stay in the hostel like everybody else. No, you have to go mess it up and get married. I think you better stop talking stupid, Bruce. Well, they're not going to let you get married, Janet. You know what's going to happen to you? You're going home. You're going to ride it home like you did before. You're going to have a lousy life, Janet. Lousy, both of you, lousy. Probably would have been better if I wasn't ever born. Don't say that. I'm sorry, Janet. I didn't mean it. I think you're making a big mistake. I thought you weren't going to encourage them. No, we didn't. As a matter of fact, we tried to talk them out of it, but the more we talked, the more we realized how much they'd matured emotionally. They, they, they're in love. They, they love each other. They're retarded. Look, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Michaels, Andrew and Janet could get an apartment nearby, close to the hostel. It's part of our independent living project. If there is any problem, Pat and I would be close by to take care of it. We could handle it. I mean, I, I know it isn't common practice, but... Absolutely not. Janet's going to fight you. Because you're not taking home the same girl who sat catatonic in front of our television set three months ago. There's one thing about television, Mr. Hollister. You don't get pregnant from it. Go out and get her. Remember to let her into your heart. Then you can start to make it better, 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 better. Bruce. Hey, Dad. Give me the keys to the car. All right. Here. Hey, you don't have to do that. Everything's settled. Janet's staying, and she's getting married, too, so forget it. Come on, Janet, dear. going on? Where's Janet going? She's gone with the camp. We're getting married. I want to talk to Mrs. Michaels. Please, I talk to Mrs. Michaels. Hey, me! Mrs. Michaels, we won't get married if you'll let stay. Please, please, let her stay. We won't get married if you'll let her stay. Please, don't go. Please, Janet! Janet! Andrew! I 
Janet, dear, let's get you a new bathing suit when we get to Catalina. It's too cold. Break him up, Andrew. Come on, concentrate, Andrew. Sunday tomorrow, why don't we take the boat around the island? That's a good idea. I think Janet would like that. Hi, how'd those glasses work out? Well, I don't know. Anything I can help you with? No. I'll be with you in a minute. It's nice seeing you. It's, uh, Andrew, isn't it? Yeah. I took those. Janet, it's time for your medication. Would you like to take a little nap before dinner? There's plenty of time. No. Would you like to watch some television? Just standing there, Janet, is not going to solve things. Honey. Honey, we love you. And we're only trying to do what's best for you. I know it doesn't seem right to you this very minute, but believe me, we don't want to hurt you. Shall I stay until you take your medication? Shall I leave your door open?
is that you? Yes. I'm, I'm going to the bathroom. Okay, honey, I'll call you when dinner's ready. Okay. It's gone. Oh no. Oh, I should have stayed with her. Oh, David, she was so upset. I should have stayed with her and talked to her.
Los Angeles? Yes, it does. Yeah, hello. Hello, Mrs. Hollister. Janet, honey, where are you? Are you okay? I'm fine. Can I speak to Andrew, please? Janet, your parents... Everybody's worried sick about you. Where are you? I want to speak to Andrew. Well, he's not here right now. Why don't you tell me where you are? I'll come pick you up. I'm not telling. Only Andrew. Janet, please. Okay. You could tell Andrew I'm going to wait for him at his spot. Where is that? I'm not telling. Andrew, Janet called a little while ago and said she'd be at, uh, your spot. She did? I don't believe it. How did she get there? Andrew, please take us to her. I'm not taking you anywhere. Andrew. No. No, no. That's my secret spot. And it's Janet's secret spot, and I'm not taking you. And you know something else, Mr. and Mrs. Michaels? I'm not going to bring her back until you promise that we can stay together and get married. Because Janet and I are very capable people, and we love each other, and we're going to get married, and you're not going to keep us apart anymore. You're very determined, aren't you? Yes, I am. So am I. I don't care. You mean you're gonna take her back home again? Gonna take her back home again? No. And we could get married? Well, How about next week? Uh, what's that next week? I, we were I, thinking I, ab about Sunday. Uh, <laughs> oh, Mrs. Michaels, I love you. Mr. Michaels, too. Mr. Michaels. Oh, Bruce. Bruce, I, I, I love you. Um, I know. Yes, I know. I know. You too, Pat. Okay. Hey, I... Oh, I love you. Um, wait, okay? I'll, I'll be right... I'll be right back, okay? Just wait, okay?
What if you got down all by yourself? I did, didn't I? <laughs> oh, I really love you. I love you. I love you. We can get married. We can. But what are we wearing? Hi, Mom. brother's a good clarinet player. You look beautiful. So do you. Do you really like the way I look? If I didn't, I, I wouldn't be here. It was my mother's wedding dress. It's beautiful.